Hi guys, Marika here with another card video. Today I'm going to do something called die cut cropping, where I'm cropping a uh, image with my die cuts um, to just use a chosen part. I really, really love this image. It's called Love Baby, Geeky Love Baby, and it's by My Kid Crafty. And this character, you can actually follow them through. Uh, falling in love, getting married, getting children, having the first Christmas and so on. So there is a whole series in these uh, characters. And as I actually used uh, the uh, wedding images for these, for this specific couple that is going to ha have this card, they already got in it, I thought it would be really cute to actually use it for their first baby card. So I'm trying to kind of use color schemes that I think would suit the couple and try to match the hairs to their hairs. So that's kind of what I thought about the coloring. Now I wanted to make a small card to send with a first baby gift. So uh, I am going to crop this image and make it uh, a little bit smaller. I just wanted the kind of faces and the little baby. Uh, and I thought, with it called Love Baby and everything, I thought, why not use my heart dice to make this a creation? So I chose to do a whole bunch of Copic coloring, and I'm doing soft Copic coloring, which means that I'm using three colors of uh, ink for the different uh shirts and and so because I, I don't want to have those deep shadows I just want to use the kind of sh wrinkles in the fabric that is made by the stamp itself and then use lighter colors to kind of give it much softer and sweeter look so here I got this heart die it's a heart die from Lawn Fawn uh, and I'm it's the biggest I think in the set or in the middle in the set but anyway it has a cutting edge on the outer part and you see it has about a millimeter uh, of metal so I'm trying to kind of figuring out how much of the image that actually will fit in this die and then I'm adding the die I'm using the same uh, tape that I'm using to hold the image down when I'm coloring to die cut it and I actually see that when I die cut it, uh, I got a little bit of her pants in. So I'm going in. These are the T uh, colors, the T six, four, and two, I think, um, that I colored the pants with. And then I wanted to kind of fill in the rest of the heart because it kind of disappeared a little bit. So I'm using the R twenty two, R twenty, and the R double zero for a very soft pink and then I found this little piece of cardstock in my stash that fitted really good with that R20s. Then I'm doing my card base, it's going to be three and a half by three and a half square. So I cut it to three and a half by seven inches and then scored it at three and a half inches. Then I'm just gonna layer my hearts on top of each other. I kind of tried out some different uh, things before kind of deciding where I want to go. I'm gonna have a little banner. I'm using the banner from a uh, my favorite thing die set, and I'm gonna use a bundle of joy from this Mama Elephant stamp set, which I got like a year ago and haven't really used. Um, and I. I can honestly say I've got it for the little dinosaur that was in the kit, nothing else. But uh, I used some uh, Sooth uh, ink from Lawn Fawn because I wanted the sentiment to be a little bit softer. That's the kind of key word for my card is to be a little bit softer. So I'm adding my die cuts just directly onto the card with some uh, tape adhesive from Crafters Companion, which I love. I have so many of those uh, and then I'm using some 3M scotch tape on the back side of that little banner to get that to stand up a little bit and because I'm doing white on white um, having that little dimension will leave a natural shadow underneath the um, little banner so that it will stand out a little bit from the white cardstock and that was the card for today I hope you liked it 
If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Down below you find all the details of the card. And these are two other cards I made with Make It Craft Images. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!